We start the show off with basketball highlights from the FSAC Basketball League in the Masters Division. Morrow's Delight defeated Chris Barbecue 70-57. Chris Barbecue managed to come within three points of tying the game with just a little over five minutes left in regulation, but fouls by Chris Barbecue would send Morrow's Delight players to the line for easy scores. Boyette Valerio finished with a game-high 28 points in the win, assisted by Ruel Alves with 24 Ero Allegri had 21, while Jose Marquez added 13 in the loss. Also taken to the court in the Masters division were the Bud Kings and Senator Dennis Rodriguez. The Bud Kings held on to a 21-20 halftime lead and went on to win the game by a score of 55-52. Mark Nampe led the Kings in the win with 19 points, while teammate Frank Cruz chipped in with 10. For Senator Dennis Rodriguez, Tony Benitez put up 19, while Roman Calera added 15 in his team's losing effort. The Guam Cycling Federation and iBike Guam continue to make efforts in educating the public about the sharrows that they have recently marked on Guam's roadways. The signs are used to help convey to motorists and cyclists that they must share the roads on which they are operating. Just put up these uh, sharrows, and the sharrow is basically just bringing awareness to the cyclists and the automobiles about uh, them being sharing the road. And uh, we put down 85 sharrows, and they're basically from Hospital Circle all the way to Micronesian Mall. And we're starting a uh, educational outreach program to educate the public on what they mean and basically how to act in three different scenarios. iBike will be holding their fourth anniversary ride this Labor Day Monday, September 1st at 8 in the morning at Adeloupe. For more information on the signs and the organization's initiatives, check out their Facebook page at iBike Guam. We all want to make Guam a really healthy and bike-friendly place. So... In order to do that, we want to get as many people cycling as possible. So I think we're going in the right direction, and hopefully in the future, we're going to have bike route signs, we're going to have uh, bike lanes, and hopefully some standalone bike paths. So people can get out and cycle safely. They can do it now, just that they do it correctly.